Millennium's technology will help the public into the future by ensuring that they feel safe, that they feel confident into the facilities that they're going into, and actually by protecting them. By having technologies like touchless capability, we, it also means that they're not having to touch common surfaces and having to worry about hygiene. At Illenium, we truly believe that the future of self-service is touchless. If you think about the legacy self-service uh, uh, technologies like ATMs and the old school to, uh, kiosks at airports, if you had to touch touch screens, it was very, you know, ineffective way of interfacing with the technology. We think virtual touch screens, voice recognitions, not only is it safer and more hygienic, it's actually more natural for a human to work with. Alenium's voice recognition capability was designed to work in some of the noisiest environments, like an airport. So it can work with up to 85 decibels of background noise and can still understand the intent that you're trying to say. And because of that, you can control these self-service devices without having to touch them and interact with them more naturally like you would with a person. Alenium's virtual touchscreen technology allows you to look at a screen and select a button rather than having to touch it with your fingers. It effectively takes away the need to touch common surfaces where there might be risks of getting infections or diseases. Alenium's vital sign technology is really exciting. It allows us to take very accurate temperature readings as well as heart rate and respiratory readings without touching the person at all. So the Illenium sensors are able to detect whether somebody's wearing a mask and I think that's really helpful in ensuring that people are being compliant with COVID safe rules. Alenium sensor technology is able to recognise a person by their face using biometrics. This is powered by Amazon Web Services and it's very fast and very accurate. We've learned a lot developing Alenium's touchless technology, not only in how to make interfaces touchless, but also understanding how we interface with people and how we make things usable. We originally developed the capability for people with accessibility issues, whether they're in a wheelchair or on a walker. I think now with the, the, what's happened with the global pandemic, everyone doesn't want to touch a surface and they want to feel safe. And so that's been quite an interesting experience. To make a successful self-service solution, there are a number of factors. One of them is simply just needs to be easy to use. People need to be able to walk up to it and know how to use it without any training. That's key. Uh, another factor is taking complex processes and making them, again, simple for somebody and employing them into a whole range of different environments without necessarily having to it work different ways in different uh, places. The third factor that needs to be considered is both cybersecurity and people's privacy, making sure that data is protected, that we only use data in ways that we need to, and that we explain to the person who's using it how long it's going to be used for and why it's going to be used. I think you'll see touchless technology appear anywhere, any place. It doesn't really matter whether it's a shopping centre, a supermarket, whether it's at the cinemas or using an ATM.